Hi, I'm Irene Tompkinson, and this is my third vlog. Today I want to talk to you about shame and guilt. They gotta go. They gotta go. They sit on top of all your value, all your worth. They sit on top of your essence. Basically, they sit on top of your soul, and they convince you that you are not the wonderful light that you are. They're stories that are just not true. Shame says, well, let me start with guilt. Guilt says you did something wrong, okay? And that's understandable. Living in this human experience, if you make a promise to somebody, you're going to show up and you don't, you blow them off, well, you should feel uncomfortable about that. We need to be our word. We need to be as good as our word. Shame, however, says you are something wrong. Your very essence is defective. That's that's not true. That's the blackness that sits on top of your absolute spirit and core and essence. And when we live from that, when we live out of that darkness, then we're no good to anybody. We're not good to ourselves. We're not good to anyone. We lose all the value and potential that we have within us. We have to believe in us. We have to love in us and care about ourselves in order for us to be the most value we can be on the planet. That is my passion for you. It's my passion for me. I want every single person on this planet living from the core that they are, which is value, which is light. Think about this. Have you ever seen a two-year-old who's been well-loved and well-cared for come into a room with the, hi, you're all here to see me. They feel so good about themselves. They're not hiding out. They're being all of their absolute wonderment. But when a child has been hurt, ignored, abused, neglected, and the neglect can be just dismissed, not necessarily beaten or anything, but when a child has been brought up that way without the three th most important things that a kid needs, time, attention, and direction, quality time, quality attention, quality direction. When a child's not been gifted with those and brought up with that, then they no longer understand their value. They feel valueless. And then they act out of that place. They grow up acting out of that place. They become adults who act out of that place. Women in our culture, and this is a big generalization, women in our culture have been made to believe they're supposed to look like the front page of a magazine. They're supposed to score well in school. They should be able to bring home the bacon, fry it up in the pan, and never forget he's a man, right? They're supposed to always look good, be good, be the perfect moms. So what happens when we're not perfect, when we're these very messy human beings, is we forget about the value that's in our core, that's not the outside wrapping, and we walk around the planet feeling, I'm not okay, I'm not good enough. Men, on the other hand, have never been given permission, or few of them have been given permission as a culture to feel their fear, to feel their sadness, to have any vulnerability. They've not been allowed that. So then they act out from this place where I'm not good enough, I'm not valuable enough, I'm not a tough guy, or we pretend to be a tough guy. And out of that place, they completely disconnect from the essence that they are. The essence that they are is the value they were born with just like women born with when we first got here on the planet until we started to believe all of this darkness that sits on our value. It sits on our souls. Anger is always on top of fear or sadness and hurt. Men have not been given permission to do the fear or the sadness and hurt. Women have not been given permission to do the anger. We've got a word for an angry woman. You got it, bitch. We've got a word for a, a fearful or sad man, wuss. That all sits on top of our worth and value. So we act out in a way that we're trying to please the culture around us rather than to own who we really are. One of the ways to, to a, a little exercise to check into, are you being pushed around by values that don't belong to you, by beliefs that aren't yours? 
because they've been so ingrained in you, you don't even recognize them? Sit down with a piece of unlined paper and write a list, I should. I should, then fill in the blank. First thought that comes to mind. I should, fill in the blank. First thought that comes to mind. Just keep repeating the list. I should be thinner. I should go to the gym more. I should have made more money. I should have not said that, okay? Some of the things that appear on the list might be, I should have been where I told them I would be. I lied and I didn't own it, okay? Well, yeah, I should change that behavior because I want to be somebody who lives by my word. But I should be thinner, I should be smarter, I should be different than I am. No, I don't want to live by those rules. I want to find out who this is. I want to know the essence in me. I want to know what rules I believe in because all the shoulds, the guilt, and the shame come from a belief that you've broken some rule. So you have to ask yourself, is it my rule? Do I really believe in that? Do I want to follow that? Just be clear about what your values are and what you think belonged, belongs to society that you've kind of absorbed. If you got a should going on in your head, you're in a toxic conversation with yourself. Guilt and shame, they gotta go. They serve no purpose except to sit on the light that you are. My prayer for you is that you know the value you came to this planet with. I would like you, if you have any comments um, or any questions or any thoughts about what I just talked about, make a response in the comment section. Or you can find me on my website, contact me with any of your thoughts or ideas or suggestions for videos or vlogs in the future. It's www, w, um, Irene Tompkinson, T-O-M-K-I-N-S-O-N.com. And I have two books that I'd love you to take a look at sometime. This is not like my mother becoming a sane parent after growing up in a crazy family. And my new one is I'll Take God, Hold the Religion. Both are on ebook formats on Kindle. And this one is now an Audible on Amazon. So thank you for your moments and thank you for any sharing that you want to give me. Namaste.